We're doing another episode of Fun and Potatoes right now. We're doing everyone's favorite. We're doing Pop Sec today. So, I got a new KitchenAid mixer. We're gonna use the KitchenAid. Brenda, does this make any sense? Does this make any sense? You know what I'm doing the video. What are you doing? I'm, you know I'm doing the video. You heard me start the video. No, I was vacuuming. The house needs to be vacuumed. I can't vacuum right now? No, I'm okay. doing a video because I have everything set up right now. You didn't tell me. The house needs to be cleaned. Why are you wearing that? It looks bad. What looks bad about it? You're wearing baby blue and turquoise. I said change your shorts, this not is your a, whole getup. This is all I got. <laughs> this is all I got. I think this is fine, right? This is good. Is this good with you? Our neighbor's leaving and she's supposed to stay home. Because she works from home. Go get her. She ain't supposed to be leaving. Go get her. So today we're doing pop sake. I got a new kitchen in Pop sick. Papu secos. Papu secos? Yes. Never heard anyone say it like that in my life. So pop secos is a Portuguese bread that we eat every day. And they're like these little buns. And papu seco means a dry mouth. So a papu is like your mouth. And then seco means dry. So pop sick means a dry mouth. Because when you eat them, they're so crispy, crunchy, and good. But they leave you uh, with your... Stoned with a dry mouth. Not stoned. With, they leave your mouth, like, dry. So, papu seco is where the word comes papu. from. Papu. Papu seco. And a funny story. When I was a kid and I moved here to United States, I used to go to school and all of the kids in my class would see me eating this pop sick. Size of your head. So, as a kid, when I was like 10, 11, I, that's what I used to eat for lunch, you know, like... Instead of having sliced bread, I used to have a pop sick because we still had that here. We still bought it here. But the kids would be like, why are you eating a bread the size of your head? Because it is the size of your head. Obviously, got introduced to sliced bread. And for school, we just had sliced bread. So delicious. We love them. And that's a cute story about pop sick. Take it away. Now that that's over. Okay. <laughs> So, very easy, simple, straight dough method for this. I don't know who am I talking to. Who am I talking to you or am I talking to them? Why you were standing right here? <laughs> so, you want your water to be a little lukewarm. I got this little thermometer. Yeah, I know I'm fancy. Why is it important to be lukewarm? Because the yeast wants it to be lukewarm. Oh, okay. So, we're going to put this thermometer in here. And this water is about 85 degrees, so I boiled some. We want two cups of water, so I, this is this water and this water equals two cups. I'm just going to pour the steaming hot water into this to crank up the temperature. Beautiful. To right about 100 degrees. And it looks to be just about that. <coughs> Corona! So, what you want to do first is you want to take your water, pour it into your KitchenAid mixer. If you don't have a KitchenAid mixer, just put it in a bowl. Then you want to take your yeast, which is a quarter of an ounce of yeast, pour it in there. And then you want to take your sugar, which is two tablespoons of sugar, pour it in there. Get yourself a little fork. And you want to whisk that all together. Why don't you use a whisk instead? I don't know. Get yourself a whisk. <laughs> and whisk that all together. I mean, isn't that why they made the whisk and not a fork? To whisk things? Okay, and then you want to let that rest, not really rest, you want that to kind of activate. For how long? About five to ten minutes. 
Okay, you don't have to tell them the facts. You don't have to ask the questions, co host. Yes, you do, because I don't know. They don't know. Yes, they do know. When I say it, when I say you let it rest for five to ten minutes, you don't have to say, oh, it went. Oh, it went. <laughs> okay, so next you can do is take your flour. This is um, five cups of flour, bread flour. You want to take your salt and you want to mix your salt which is, they, I mean, you could put a little bit if you wanted, not a lot of salt. I kind of like the saltiness of a, a nice popo secco. Pop sick. Pop sick. That's what I said before. So next, you want to take your salt and mix it with your flour. Five cups of flour, about half a teaspoon of salt. And then you want to incorporate that and mix that up. So just give that a little stir. Don't you see it start to ferment like that? It's ready to go. It's ready to go. So once it starts to ferment, you can take your salted flour and add it right in there. And in with the butter, four tablespoons of butter. Lift up. Okay. Using the dough hook, what? Plug it in. Oh, it's not even plugged in. Thank you. Thank you, co-host. And you can turn it on low. So after about 10 minutes, Drop it down. Should be a sticky dough at this point because we're going to need, need in some flour. This down. Pop this off. So what you want to do is you want to get a lot of flour on your hands because we're about to get sticky. So once you get your dough, and it's nice, springs back like that, you want to get a bowl, you want to grease up the bowl, place that in there nice, and you also want to grease up the top of it, and then you want to cover it. You want to let that set for an hour and a half to two hours. Alrighty, so about two and a half hours later. Um, it's not hot here, so it takes a little longer than most. And then, I'll dust my hands and some flour. Because, yeah, bat this down. You want these to rise up and kind of double up in size so we can shape them and then we're going to let them proof one more time.
And then we're going to let these rise up, do their thing. Give them a nice little cover. So now the breads are in the oven at 425 for about 25 minutes. You want to check them at like 18 minutes because they're going to puff up. So if you have a thermometer, your bread should be at about 200, a little over 200, that's when you know they're done. So these are reading a little over 200, so they are done. Now this, my friends, is Portuguese gold. Because you can take it and you fill it with some nice cheese and just crisp, flaky, soft. Out of this world. Okay, you want to try to follow some tricks? Yeah. I'll show them how you can do tricks. Come here. You know you're on camera. Come here. Good girl. Come on, sit on your back legs. Yes. Good kitty.